Shalom Akim. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the world nearly calls God. Yahweh Shai is his son, who the world nearly calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside them. And I want to get into a quick lesson going into how the elect are selfless, being Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai's woman. Right? Or being Yahweh, Yahweh's woman, Yahweh Shah's bride. Okay, on a spiritual sense. And um, you know, the scriptures speak about, you know, how beautiful it is for men and a woman to agree together. Now our man, Yahweh, well our man Yahweh Shah was selfless, you know. Well Yahweh was selfless. He gave his only begotten son, all right, to deliver and to bring back his elect unto him, which also means through his elect, his, his whole, the whole, his whole nation would be saved. Yahweh Shai is selfless. Yahweh Shai, the scriptures say in Hebrews that he, you know, he took upon the form of a man, basically he made himself a little lower than the angels, so that we could be saved. So that we could be safe. So we have perfect examples of selflessness. And then down on down to the prophets. Alright? That were saved. You know, Job, selfless. You know, King David, selfless. Different men of the Lord died for following. You know, Yahweh Shimmy I was shot. And I only well, for following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and through following Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, they put themselves out there for them for their people. You know, which they were ridiculed. Really you know. It seemed like it didn't make sense for them to go out there. Nevertheless, they went out there because first and foremost they had a fear of the Lord, you know, and they had a love for their people. You know? And um Contrary to popular belief, we the only ones that really love our people, man. We really the only ones that really love our people. That's why we get on them for the wickedness that they do. As the scriptures say, cry loud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, right? Now I wanted to get uh Proverbs chapter 31 going into a virtuous woman. Because when you go into the word virtuous, right? It means moral, moral fortitude, right? And as you can hear, I'm driving, so you know, bear with me. Uh, Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. All right. The heart of her husband doth safely trust in her alright why because a virtuous woman she 9 times out of 10 or yeah 10 times out of 10 I would say she learned that virtuousness which the word virt goes into the word man she learned that from her husband you know she learned that from her husband or from her dad you know or from a spiritual man you know she looked up to or whatever like today you have women that may not have particularly have husbands you know but they watch brothers videos and they get edified you know and um you know through that they, they move accordingly all right so as we learn in the scriptures you know learning the ways um how to please our husband we move accordingly all right like the scriptures say in matthew 25 we had a servant and the scriptures put it plain on how to please the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. For example, how you had the king that went away and you know he delivered his talents into his servants. You know? Again, going into what? You know, our husband going out, you know, going out, um, you know, going up into the heavens and leaving us in the house to hold it down. But when he comes back, 
he requires the house to be spotless. You know? He requires everything to be the way he liked it. His meal to be fresh. You know what I'm saying? Really going into the prop, uh, you know, um, us doing our works for us to be hopefully saved and for the elect to be saved. You know? So it says, um, she would do him good and not evil all the days of her life. You know, and contrary to many in this time, how they say F Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai was a BHI, you know, a black, you know, something extremist or whatever, however you say the acronym, you know, the Lord's name doesn't matter. Those are not virtuous women, you know. But it says, uh, as a matter of fact, those are feminine women, you know. What's the word feminine, meaning lack faith, but a virtuous woman, meaning to have faith, to walk courageously, if I haven't mentioned it before, you know? So it says, she is like the merchant's ship. She bringeth her food from afar. She riseth also while it is yet night and giveth meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. And while everyone else is sleeping, we up looking over the house. You know, we up, we up keeping guard over the sheep. It says, 16, she considereth it filled and buyeth it with the fruit of her hands. She planteth a vineyard. She girdeth her loins with strength and strengtheneth her arms. Hold on, Akim. As you can hear, I'm driving right now, so bear with me. And strengtheneth her arms. She perceiveth that her merchandise is good. Her candle goeth not out by night. You know? So, we doing what we got to do to make sure that it is, you know, the household, you know, is to our husband's liking, you know? We're not taking the time out to cater to ourselves, as most do, all right? So, that's pretty much the point on that. I don't really have to go too crazy, you know? Just go, you know, just giving a point of how, you know, the elect... Of your how about Shimmy how shot would be selfless. Alright. This is Sirach chapter 2, verse let me see. 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek. That which is well pleasing unto him And they that love him Shall be filled With the law They that fear the Lord Will prepare their hearts And humble their souls In his sight So no matter what we go through As the elders out there in Dallas Going to all the time You gotta take yourself Out of the equation You wanna do What he enjoys What he likes Okay what makes him happy and what makes the Lord happy? You know? What makes the Lord happy, you might ask? To do as he says. Don't talk back. Don't question. Do as he says. All right? And, you know, to just do as a person says, you really got to believe in them. You know? You really just got to believe in them. You got to see them as the leader. Saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men, for as his majesty is, so is his mercy. You know? Hey, so with that, shalom to the elect.